Hello friends, my name is Piyush. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial video, I will explain you how can we deserialize or parse a JSON string in the 365 financial operation. Let's start. So in this tutorial video, I have one JSON sample. As you can see, I have one JSON sample available here in which I have a status node which contains success as a string and data which contains collection data types also called arrays. So I want to deserialize the whole JSON in D365 financial operation. So this one is by D365 financial operation environment you can see. Here I am consuming a web service which is returning me a sample JSON or a JSON message which I want to deserialize in D365 financial operation. If I will run this program, what will happen? It will consume this API and it will return JSON message string in info. So I will run the program. So you can see when I'm running this program, it is returning me a JSON string, which is same, which I'm showing you here. Now, my next step is how can we deserialize it in D365 finance operation without using any C sharp libraries or any other class library projects. So I want to dedicatedly work on a D365 classes to deserialize it. I'm stopping the debugger not required right now so I close all the windows so that there will not be any confusion so before deserializing the JSON I have to understand what are the key elements are there how many nodes will are there and how data types are there in my scenario I have one status node which contains a string value again we have data node which contains array in this object ID one employee name so I will have to create two data content class to deserialize my JSON message because I can see here we have one object node which contains status and inside it we have one data object which is a back collection array basically. So first of all I will create two data content classes one for first for outer object and second one for my data objects which contains array. So as you can see, I have already created those classes. I will explain you again, how can we do it? So this is one ones by outer header data contact class to hold the object of JSON. Inside it, I have one member status, which is basically same as status of this JSON sample. Inside it, we have one list so I actually created one another method collection attribute method which is returning me JSON data contract and JSON data contract contains as you can see all the arrays informations and its attributes so in JSON we have IDs, employee name, employee salary, employee age, profile image same I defined here make sure that your data member id which i am actually mentioning here should be equal to your json attribute there should not be any spelling mistakes or other thing it should be same as per json message so here is employee name as you can see and one of my data member is also employee name. so this is very important here that data member name should exact match my json set so I created two JSON data content classes here for holding the records. You can see this one is for ID, which is same as this one. One second for employee name 
employee salary, employee age, employee profile image. And we have one outer JSON data contract for status and second one is list. List paint to list. That seemed right so far. And make sure that you have should define all the collection attribute if it is holding an array or list. This is very important, friends. If you will not define it correctly, your JSON will not will you will not able to read your JSON message correctly or decentralize it. So the so step one is containing development of my own data two data contact classes I mentioned you here. Second thing, as you can see, in my JSON decentralization class, I'm getting my response message in this string, so I will decentralize it. For decentralize it, you can use form JSON serializer class with of the web finance and operation colon colon decentralize object. And here I am passing class num of my JSON contract object. And here comma my string message. So JSON contact contains against two data members. I already explained you status and my list of data. So let's start. Now I will place a debugger here and I will show you how the serializing is happening. It will take time to do it. So in this response message, I have the whole JSON. The format I already explained to you. And if I will go to F10, I will see JSON contact object has been initialized. And in first method, it is returning with success. And inside data, I have arrays of data and data nodes. You can see. Contains 24 list inside it. I have employee, employee profile image ID, other things. So it means the outer object has been deserialized successfully, but now we have to deserialize the data nodes also. So let's take example. For which I have declared a list. Let's sample. Let's go with data list data. New list. Plus. Okay. Let's see. And then I will. Okay. Plus to my data because it contains my list of data and array elements. Now here I initialize my list data object with parent data. Now I will deserialize it. For deserializing, I will use list animator. while because it can contain multiple objects inside one list so I will iterate it and 
before I am defining JSON data contract object. That's it there. Correct. So in this JSON data contact, you will get all the elements of arrays. For your meanwhile testing, I will return an info. So my ID. I run the program again, it will return me a deserialized result. Rebuild the project. Okay, build is completed. Now click on start. Okay, close this page. Not to find out. Will hit the break point. As you can see, the animation is happening correctly, and each array element values I'm getting inside JSON you can contract object okay, that's two and a five here so you can see the parsing is successful ID 24 employee builder vans name season so you can utilize this this class form JSON serializer in various programs like when you are inserting records when you are after parsing a JSON message or you can process other things also so it depends on scenarios but here I have only explained you how can we deserialize so I'm repeating again a brief summary but we did so far we we understand JSON message and my it's node in my message where is data collection uh, there is collection class inside data node and status I created two data contact class for it first one JSON object contract for holding outside informations status and my list object of data and second I created another data contact class for holding arrays elements it contains IDs employee names salary and other information and then I utilized here our contact classes and use form JSON serializer class to deserialize the JSON message hope this will help you if you have any doubt or any queries you can drop me comment i will see check and revert you as soon as possible thanks a lot bye